believe you're leaving in the morning. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about starting a new novel. I thought you were too depressed. I'm feeling better. Yeah, I noticed you've been acting a lot happier. In fact, it seems you've been having yourself a heck of a good time with Julia and Mary Jo and Charlene. I'm glad they were able to inspire you so with their old money and legs that go on for six miles and hell cat hair. <laughs> How do you know about legs? Charlene told me. In fact, it seems that everybody's been able to lift your depression but me. You aren't getting jealous on me, are you? No. But you know, I could inspire you again, too, if I wanted to. You inspire me just standing there. I mean, I never believed for one second that I couldn't, if I put my mind to it. Neither did I. Sorry I'm so late. I had to see Dash off this morning. You know, he just hated to go. I guess that man's just always going to be in love with me, and there's nothing I can do about it. Here. What's that? Oh, it's some sort of little thank you note Dash sent. Read it. Oh, he started a new novel. He had this kind of inspired look in his eye when he left. I have a feeling I'm going to beat it. <laughs> Julia, what's it say? Read it. <clears throat> Yesterday, in my mind's eye, I saw four women standing on a veranda in white gauzy dresses and straw-colored hats. They were having a conversation, and it was hot. Their hankies tucked in cleavages where eternal trickles of perspiration run from the female breastbone to exotic vacation spots that southern men often dream about. <laughs> they were sweet-smelling, coy, cunning, voluptuous, voracious, delicious, pernicious, vexing and sexing, these earth sister rebel mothers these arousers and carousers, and I was filled with a longing to join them. But like a whim of scarlets, they turned suddenly and went inside, shutting me out with a bolt of a latch, and I was left only to pick up an abandoned handkerchief and savor the perfumed shadows of these women, these southern women, this Suzanne, this Julia. This Mary Jo and Charlene, thanks for the comfort. Dash Goff, the writer. 